All right, so I don't know how to screen record yet, um, but this will do for now. Um, let's go ahead and create that file that breaks down our circle into four different cuts so that we can get a 24 inch round out of our laser bed, which is only 23.6. Uh, so we want this square to resemble our work piece, which is 24 and a half square. It's much bigger than our work area, much, it's a little wider than our work area. Um, but here, I'll bring it into a white screen. Um, and then the next thing we wanna do is create our circle. It cuts a red for me. Um, the square is black, which is usually engraved for me, but I have the output turned off, so um, we just need that to resemble our work piece. So our round needs to be 24 inch round. Uh, then we'll, s whoops. Select both of them, center them, and so now we'll need to split this square into three rectangles that are equal. Um, so what I'll do is I will duplicate that square, and 24 and a half divided by three is equal to 8.1666. I did the math off camera, I'm not that good. <laughs> uh, so we'll change our height. So then we'll center the vertical. I know my shortcuts on my keyboard, so, um, but whenever you need to center something, it's either, uh, here's the vertical center, here's the uh, horizontal centering. But uh, I need this rectangle to line up with the top of that square, so that's what I do there. So then uh, we want to cut this circle into two sections, um, but I'll duplicate this rectangle because I will need one in a second. So then select the circle, select the rectangle, come up to tools, cut shapes uh, that cut our circle into two sections top and bottom there like you can see um, then we need to slice this bottom piece a little further so I need to align that rectangle to center and then to the top that lower portion of the circle so now we need to slice this this here uh, what we'll need is this uh, left piece in between that rectangle so select the uh, the red circle line, then we select our rectangle, then come up to tools, cut shapes. Um, don't understand why it does this, but uh, the lower portion here is grouped with this portion here, which we don't need, so we'll just delete that, which leaves us with this piece that's grouped with this piece here. So control G, sorry, control U to ungroup. Um, Select that, delete, and I think we're gonna have two pieces here. Yep, two pieces. Select both of those and control G to group that. So now we have one section, two sections. Uh, we need some targets. Uh, I'm gonna make my targets blue since that's the score on my uh, light burn. That's what I like to use color blue to score. I like to make these a 20 millimeter round. Type in 20 millimeter, scale proportionately, then we need to make it a target. I have snap to nodes uh, turned on in uh, device settings, or snap to objects, sorry, right in there. So that will allow me to uh, just come over here near the center. It, yeah, you know, gives you that cross, uh, I guess crosshair. Um, click on that, bring it over, find our center, click on that. Then right click to end that line. So that's our target, select everything, group. Uh, this 
is, I'm gonna bring it over to the um, corner of that square there. Uh, we're gonna need some more of these targets, so select duplicate, I'll bring this one over to this corner. Getting ahead of myself there. Nope, did not duplicate. Okay, control D will duplicate, and then bring it over to this right hand corner. Uh, I want to bring these in. I don't want these at the uh, edge of my workpiece. Um, that's not how I learned it, so I always bring them in from the uh, from the edges. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, moving them over by clicking the arrows on my keyboard. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need a few more targets. So duplicate that. Bring it in closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And we'll do the same duplicate. Bring it over twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so now uh, this left half is the same as this right half. Uh, now we need. Well, Duplicate this, and we'll bring them down to the bottom. And select those and bring them up five. One, two, three, four, five. So now these are in the same position as these. It's a mirror if this was mirrored in half uh, vertically. So we'll need to duplicate these once again. I'll leave them uh, selected. Uh, come down here, hold shift select the bottom two and select that portion of our uh, cut line and while everything is selected just drag everything over this is going to be one of our cuts uh, I like to have these uh, horizontal instead of vertical um, and we can get rid of this square so this is essentially the file that we will send to our laser to cut our 24 inch round in four sections. Uh, this is section number one. This is how I send them over. Um, so that's the first cut. Then we're gonna move this over. That's gonna be our second cut. Send that over. And then uh, again, we'll send this part, sorry this part that's our third cut and then we're gonna end our last cut on uh, this this part here um, let's uh, go over to the laser